Okay, so welcome to a special ice fishing edition Q&A for Kitty's uh, YouTube channel. Um, we've asked you guys to send in questions on Instagram and uh, I do have a whole bunch for her. She doesn't know what the questions are yet, so here we go. Um, have you ever fished for albacore tuna? I've eaten it out of a can. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But you, From St. Jean's. But you've had fresh tuna from friends as well, haven't you? Mark. Yeah, right? You've had fish. Oh. Well, if, yeah, gone fishing for them, no. No. If the right. opportunity came up, yeah. I would absolutely do it because tuna are one of my favorite eating fish. Rod, why haven't you taken me fishing for I them? No, you keep asking for it, you know. That's the species that I ask for Murphy's, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The Murphy's offers it really depending on the conditions, and it's that last minute, that morning of decision. Yeah. But I would totally love to go out there because the stories that I've heard from those who have fished for them are insane and I love eating it. Um, our buddy Mark actually has gifted Dan and I some of his when he's caught it and uh, it's delicious stuff. Next question is right up your alley. So how uh, hot is it to learn, uh, to learn mushroom picking? Uh, I remember I was terrified about it when I first started. Well, it actually was um, one of Dan's friends we were out fishing for uh, summer steelhead and he found some mushrooms growing out of the side of a dirt, or a dirt road and he picked them and he's like, guys, these are awesome tasting mushrooms. Look how many there are. They're called shaggy manes, but you got to eat <laughs> them quick because they ink. Um, so we took them home that night, cut them up. I fried them and I remember looking at Dan and Dan wouldn't touch them. And I thought, screw this. I don't want to take the risk of eating these mushrooms. I don't know if they're good or not, so we actually ended up throwing them out. And then it was, um, it was Daniel that really started it because he came across big patches and he wanted to know what they were. And so he started taking photographs of all these different types that we ran into. And um, he put the pictures on forums, identification forums, asking people what they were. And he'd wait till he got several answers with the ID, then he'd look up what they said and it was accurate so then we just started yeah going out taking pictures asking buying identification books using those to look at the mushrooms that we found and we started off with like really easy edibles like yeah. your chanterelles and chicken of the woods cauliflower stuff that you couldn't mess up with like any other mushrooms and uh, I would say I'd say it's pretty easy but it's it's a long learning process, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's not it's right away. Ongoing. No. I mean, you're still learning as well, right? It's just you, it's that's, and I think that isn't that the great thing about it because you're constantly learning, finding new things. And that, yeah, I yeah. people send me pictures of mushrooms more than you think, and yeah. they're like, "What is this?" I'm like, "I have no idea." It's yeah. Little LBM, like some little brown mushroom that I have no idea mm -hmm. what it is. But I would start off with a book. Maybe join some forms if you're serious and pick mushrooms that are super easy to identify right. because then you can't screw up. And that brings up the next question would be, what is a good book to get for mushroom picking? Is it, I always screw up the name, is it everything that the rain promises and more or all? All the rain promises and more. All the rain promises the rain and promise more. more. Yeah. Why I actually like it is because there's a lot of stories in there from different foragers and um, the, just the stories are re relatable to me and they're fascinating. It has great photographs and well detailed notes about the species, like how to cook it, uh, where it grows, what's the season time, um, does it have poisonous lookalikes, and everything's broken down into the species. So you have like your, your bullets, your gilled mushrooms, your, uh, uh, what is it? Your, like your the poly polypores and everything is is broken up into categories right at the beginning and then you can just take your mushroom and it break you find it I don't yeah. know how to explain it yeah that, well, is that it. the best way Dan yeah because it does it has the right at the beginning it has all these passages but I haven't actually looked at it in years I was reading it quite often yeah at the beginning and then I just stopped because we knew exactly what we were looking for right yeah and pamphlets you can get little pamphlets yeah. from chapters. So is it pretty hard to, I mean, you, you have pictures in, in the books and is it pretty hard to kind of match that with what, what you see in real life? 
you think? Um, sometimes, yes, because yeah. the mushrooms, they'll be past their prime, so they look nothing like they actually would look fresh. Okay. Um, sometimes, like, the colors, they'll change, or uh, the shapes, like, even chanterelles, when they're older, they start to, they start to kind of grow up instead of out, like, they kind of curl up mm -hmm. um, instead of going down, like a button shape. So, yeah, they do change when they get older. Right. And it won't look like that fresh ID picture that the book has. But over time, by now, like the species that you're fairly, fairly familiar with, I guess you look at it once, like, okay, so that's that. That's I know that. now. Like before, yeah. I would run up to false chanterelles or like other species, yeah. and I would say, oh, Dan, I found a patch. And then I'd, I'd pick it, and I'd know, oh, that's not it. Or yeah. it would take me a second to like analyze it. But now I, I can just tell by the color. Yeah, great. And what's, okay, so what are your favorite mushrooms to, I guess, to harvest, to eat? To eat? Yeah. We kind of binge. We have our chanterelle season, mm -hmm. and then we have our pines, and we have our cauliflowers, and then you have your chicken in the summer. So we, like, eat a lot of chicken, and then we eat a lot of chanterelles, and then you eat a lot of cauliflower and a lot of pines, and then a lot of morels in the spring. So if I could only eat one... I really enjoy the taste of morels by themselves. Really? Yeah. Because I've had morels. You've, you've given me morels before. I, 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 it was okay. It wasn't... No? Mm, what? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I just... Maybe you don't just like them? Maybe I just didn't, like, cook it properly, but I... I... You gotta, like, crisp the edges. Yeah. The texture is good. Yeah. How many of you are the first person ever to make a bland more <laughs> more <laughs> What a dick. Well, my dinner ideas next week is a bust. What's what? Dan said my sauce is bland. <laughs> no, it's not funny, <laughs> Tippet. Chantrelles are great. I love chantrelles. Well, chantrelles yeah. are easy. You can I've made soups with them. I put them on pizza. I've thrown them into omelets. Mm -hmm. You can add them to many things, gravies. Yeah, great. In the pines with the soups, mm -hmm. so good. Why did you damage Dan's rod with rose stems? <laughs> Who actually asked that one? That's <laughs> no. awesome. What's wrong with you? Look what you've done. Look at it. Look at it. I don't want to see what I've done. You made my rod slimy and pink. Wait, that's not that bad. It's terrible. That's like nothing. Kitty, it's bright orange. <laughs> it's supposed to be green cork. Why do you not clean Wait. your hands when you go fishing? Was that my rod or your rod? It was my rod. My green machine. No, 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 no. After the green the machine's mine with the jewels. No, the green reel. The, the big, green reel's mine. The green shadow rod. Okay, the rod's yours, but the reel's mine. But, um, but I could I could relate because you've used my rods before when we're fishing bait. And like, what is this? Uh, <laughs> I have, I plead the fifth. I don't know. I used that rod for when we were on the Somas with Murphy's. And it's a heavier rod, so it's easier to fight the fish when you're in the middle of the river. And at that time, I was just in fishing mode, competitive. I wanted to catch something. So I didn't really wash my hands in between or wipe them for each yeah. setup. Yeah. Okay, speaking of ice fishing. Um, I was going to say, this is so hard for me to fish and no, talk. No, you're just watching. And, and watch. We're I'm, just waiting for fish to show up. But I don't even know if I've seen fish show well, up. I haven't seen any yet. So okay. Yeah, I haven't seen any yet. Um, so speaking of ice fishing, um, are you keeping any fish, Lee, or are you just catching and releasing this um, fish? Well, I actually... I, it bothers me when I see people ice fishing and they're reeling their fish up and it's flopping all over the ice. I just feel terrible for the fish. Yeah. But wanna, I'm a bit of a hypocrite because yeah. I don't want to eat the fish. I don't really like trout. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, you know, I, I'm, I'm telling them to keep the fish because I, I want to eat the fish. So, <laughs> and again, same thing, right? Because, because we don't actually know what the mortality is when you're releasing these fish. Because once they go down, who knows? Oh, 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 stop. Drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. Okay, okay, up, up, up. Feel the bites, feel the bites. Stop, stop, stop. When you see it, that's when you like 
put it and then just hold it and it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone. It'll come back. So I was two up? You, you were just a little higher up and he, w he went down. And that's why I asked you, but he dropped the bait all the way to the bottom before. Oh. You just got to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, we don't know what the fish are doing down there. And ideally, I think it should be a catch and keep fishery. Because it is a put and take fishery anyways. I, I right? think so too. Yeah. Because I, I don't, you don't know the survival of them afterwards when you release them back into the water. Or in, down the hole into the water. Yeah. And even though they know wild fish, you don't want to waste any fish. No, right? no, no. Yeah. So I guess that's right. I, when I go ice fishing, do I like to keep the fish? No, but I have someone who will gladly take any fish that we can keep within the limits. Yeah. Do I ever get jealous when you outfish me? <laughs> do I ever get jealous? No, do I ever get jealous of you? I definitely get jealous when you outfish me. Why? Because I want to like catch fish. Like, like yesterday? And Rod rubs it in my face. Because he's a poor sport and rubs it in. He rubs it in my face <laughs> every time. He actually counted I, the episodes. He's like, well, we got Somas, we got Tiger Trout, we got <laughs> this one. He's like... I kind of feel bad, but I don't. That's okay. For the very first time, I think I've caught the any fish. I, uh, I jokingly no, rub it. No, no, yeah, no, no, it's, it's no. It's always in... He like texts me before bed. He's like, guess what, kitty? I caught two fish. Okay. <laughs> so do I get, does Raw get jealous? I don't know. I, I don't. I honestly don't get jealous because. Really? I, you know, even fishing with Nino, fishing with you, whatever. If, if you guys get, if you guys get fish, I'm always, I'm always happy. Yeah. You're not a little jealous? No, not really. There's never been a time where you thought, oh, I wish that was my fish. Uh. We're like, damn, that's a nice one. He gets jealous when we're catching fish and he's not there. That's when yes, he gets jealous. that's because I'm not filming there and stuff. Um, <laughs> maybe the big coho when we went to the Rod. Do you ever hesitate at grabbing a fish because you 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 you're afraid that you're gonna damage your nails? Look at those pretty nails. <laughs> no. No. Do I hesitate to grab a fish because it's gonna damage my nails? No, but. When I have to open up split, like the split rings to tie them onto a spoon, yeah, yeah. I definitely hesitate. Yeah. Dan! Okay. <laughs> okay, what's your biggest fish out of the ice? That could have been yesterday. Yesterday's were so stinking big. I'd never <laughs> seen brook trout and rainbow trout of that size before. And there were, there were so many of them circling around right below me, but they just didn't want it. I saw that one brookie where he just like opened his mouth but then, like, my jig was on the side, so he's like... Yeah. And then just swam by. Hmm. They were like four pounds, three pounds, four pounds, six pounds. My biggest fish is probably ten inches. Biggest ice fish? <laughs> yeah, that's not big. Maybe the uh, one at Tunqua, like, that first year. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that one you lost, too. But now that yeah. I that look back at the one that I lost through the hole with yeah, Jess, after small. seeing those yeah. other ones, yeah. it was probably the size of yours from yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Like, it wasn't that big. Yeah. If you hear something wiggling, <laughs> just... <laughs> it's Dan being... Dan. My yeah. feet are, like, numb. What That's is, why you don't wear waders. What is your Christmas wish list? Well, Dan said that we can't buy Christmas presents for each other. <laughs> so I don't have any Christmas presents coming to me. I don't have any presents, so I'm not allowed. She might be getting something. Yeah. You know what my, my wish list would be? Yeah, what is it? If what I is could get wish anything? List? Yeah. Take note. I love massages. <laughs> I love <laughs> massages. So that would be my, like number one. <laughs> Shoulders, neck, back, lower back, feet, hands, arms. We'll leave a phone number <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> For what? For me? So they can contact yeah. me? Yes. <laughs> I would let someone else give you massage so I don't need to do it. Dan doesn't like it. <laughs> My hands hurt. Well, I think most guys wouldn't want to massage their spouse if there isn't something in return. <laughs> <laughs> this one you'll be interested. Um, do either of you believe in Sasquatch? Oh, and yeah. 
and yep. know someone who claims to have seen one. Uh, yeah, Daniel and I did. Daniel and I have totally seen signs of Sasquatch. We were fishing North Island one day and we had come up through this new section of forest that we had never been through before. And there was so many, there was different sets of trees pinned up against each other, like almost like a teepee style, a cone style, but more um, like animalistic almost. Uh, not man-made structures and good. there was they were everywhere it's like boom 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 i'd never seen anything like it so now we call it sasquatch canyon whenever we go there just a really smart bear no what <laughs> what else did it look like dan just a bunch of trees set up i can't even remember we thought it was bizarre though yeah. it was definitely creepy but um no i haven't seen any other signs yeah we haven't really seen much wildlife actually no bears cougar or no bears Wolves, I've never seen But you have bears close encounters. Yeah, but... Right? We've had them charge us. Yeah. Right? The one day... So I honestly am such a pansy. I will not leave Dan's side. Wildlife and knowing that I might interact with it freaks me out. The one day I told Dan that I would start walking back to the car <laughs> through the forest without him, I was walking ahead looking for chanterelles. My eyes are on the ground. And then I hear a sound in front of me and I look up and there's four bears walking down the path. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, all I do is I scream Dan at the top of my lungs, like blood curdling, scream. I like, I, I think I hugged myself to make me, myself feel better. Yeah. I had the cubs charge at me and then mom too. And then they all just like at the last second split off in different directions. A couple of them went up to the trees to the right. One fish, 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 fish. Stop, stop, stop. Feel the bites, feel the bites, feel the bites. Oh, There's no. no bites. No, you just, you just, yeah. It went down again. So, do I need to be lower? No, just, you just gotta wait. When it shows up, it's So, when, when the fish is there, you just don't jig? You don't jig, yeah. You slow, but why? You slow, well, you slow down, you slowly pick it up and drop it down and just trying to get it to bite, right? These fish... Because you can't feel the bites when you're doing that. Like, I know. Well, that's with that right? one that was the one that bit, though. Yeah. I was jigging, yeah, I think. I guess, yeah, but it just it's harder to feel the bites because it bites so lightly already. So, hey, so anyway, so you, so your your, your screams scared the, the bears off. Yeah, and then Dan's like, <laughs> "What? What?" And he's like running, and he's like, "What? What's wrong?" And I'm like, "Dan, there's three bears and a mom, three cubs and a mom." But he never saw... Did you see them, Dan? Yeah, there were a couple of cubs in the trees beside us. Freaked me the F I think we actually took photos of those. No, no not no. those ones. That's another. I remember you see... Uh-oh. Oh, drop it down. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Come back up. Feel, feel the bites. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's there, still there, still there, still there. It's coming back up for your bait. Where do you see it? Oh, it's that green stuff on the bottom. Oh, come on. It came back that time. But I can't feel... Anything. I know, but it's... My hand is numb. <laughs> it's going like, to be like no tiny... Bite. It's going to be like tiny... Needles, I feel like. literally nothing. Yeah. Doesn't help that there's ice on the road too, so... I clear it off so yeah. often. And you know what, going back to that nails thing... Yeah. I've really cut back. Like, I know it looks like I have them all done up I, all the time. Yeah. But when we quit fishing to go mushroom picking I've noticed this that. summer you don't do it or this much. this yeah. summer or the fall spring and summer mm -hmm. I stopped because they were chipping so fast when I was digging for pines yeah. so I thought what's the point of getting them done so yeah f during the fall I don't get them done anymore but when I know I have a fishing trip I make a special appointment <laughs> and it was the end of the school year yeah for well 2019 so, so why, why, does, why does getting your nails done make you feel better? Feel good? Because I just, they feel amazing. And I don't bite them. That's right, you don't. I don't bite, bite them at all. A lot of people bite the nails. I don't yeah. normally though, but mm -hmm. I'll like pick at them until they get really short. But when they're done, I won't do anything to them. Hmm. And it's shellac and it's my own nail and yeah. it's fun and it's Christmas. I can't catch Tested? a fish to save my life. It's okay, I can't. You just gotta keep trying. Like, I'm stunned. Rod's like, I would've got them all by now. I would've. <laughs> I think I need a new worm. Probably. Like, maybe the bait's maybe gone. Maybe the bait's gone. 
No, no it's, it's just like, just not I want to get a new yet. one. That is all the questions uh, you guys asked. That's it? Yeah. No one really but that's cared? Good, but it's pretty good questions. It's but no one really cared. Quality of the corner. No. You need to send in more questions for next time. Um, we'll do, that, do another one another time. Did I answer them really well? I think they were great questions. Maybe and they were great more answers. Questions than you did. Maybe. No, no, no. I got like almost 20 for him. I yeah. know. That's what I mean. I think he, he got more. So what does that mean? Do more people can't want to know more about you? More or they interact more with me? They just interact more with you, I think. Unfortunately. So you have to head over to my channel to watch that segment of the Q&A. Wait, right. your channel? Yeah. My channel? Isn't my this video on my No, no, so when, when you guys oh. finish this Q&A, um, you gotta head over to my channel to watch the Q&A for me over there. So, we're gonna catch a fish. Mm -hmm.